The National Spatial Development Framework seeks to address the country's historical spatial imbalances by providing guidance and coordinating all policy, plans and programs that impact on spatial planning, land development, and land use across the country by both public and private sector. Government has prepared spatial and land-related policy and legislation that speaks to and gives further expression to Chapter 8 of the National Development Plan. These instruments, which cover settlement planning, placemaking, and land use and land use management include the 2016 Integrated Urban Development Framework IUDF, the Spatial Planning and Land Use Management Act 2013, SPLUMA, and the National Spatial Development Framework which was approved in 2022. Through progressive economic, social, ecological and spatial development objectives, values and ideals, the NSDF will move South Africa toward a desired, post-apartheid national spatial development pattern through its 2050 vision. We are redesigning our future, where there is space for all South Africans to thrive. The NSDF seeks to achieve the following spatial outcomes. National Spatial Outcome 1, a network of consolidated, transformed and well-connected national urban nodes, regional development anchors, and development corridors that enable South Africa to derive maximum, transformative benefit from urbanization, urban living, and inclusive economic development. National Spatial Outcome 2, National scale corridors and regions of opportunity enable sustainable and transformative urbanization, urban consolidation, mutually beneficial urban and rural linkages, and ecological management. National Spatial Outcome 3 National connectivity and movement infrastructure systems are strategically located, extended and maintained to support a diverse, adaptive and inclusive economy and a set of key national and regional gateway cities and towns. National Spatial Outcome 4 – Productive Rural Regions, supported by sustainable resource economies and strong and resilient, regional development anchors that provide access to people living in rural areas to the national and global economy. National Spatial Outcome 5 – National Ecological Infrastructure and the National Natural Resource Foundation is well protected and managed to enable sustainable and just access to water and other natural resources both for current and future generations. There will be 75 million South Africans in 2050, mostly living in major urban centers. The National Spatial Development Framework NSDF, plays a critical role in enhancing urban resilience through several mechanisms. Guiding land use and urban planning, the NSDF provides a strategic, long-term perspective on optimal land use and development. By guiding urbanization patterns, it ensures sustainable, efficient development, minimizing environmental impacts. This directly contributes to SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, mitigating disaster risk by identifying high-risk areas for natural disasters such as floods or landslides, the NSTF helps guide development away from these zones, thereby enhancing urban resilience. Integrating Climate Change Adaptation The NSDF incorporates projections of climate change impacts, such as sea level rise or increased frequency of extreme weather events, ensuring future development is resilient. This relates to SDG 13, Climate Action. Balancing Economic and Social Goals the NSDF helps promote social equity and economic sustainability by guiding development towards areas of economic opportunity and away from areas of high social vulnerability. This aligns with SDG 10, Reduced Inequalities. Enhancing infrastructure efficiency by providing a framework for strategic infrastructure placement to serve current and future populations efficiently. The NSTF contributes to significant infrastructure cost savings and ensures that services are available where most needed. This is related to SDG 9, Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure. Following on from the directive in the NDP, the NSDF identifies areas of significant national risk and opportunity slash potential. In order to create such a shared, smaller, 
better connected and more sustainable South Africa, the NSDF identifies the most urgent short-term, strategic spatial development catalysts to bring about radical spatial transformation at scale, manage and mitigate rising national risks, and move our country at speed towards the long-term ideal, national spatial development pattern. These areas of which there are five types, are called National Spatial Action Areas NSAAs. The National Urban Spatial Transformation and Economic Transition Regions focuses specifically on the major urban centers. More than half of the country's population already live in metros and large cities, with this trend set to continue well into the future. In addition to being home to millions of our people, the three largest of these urban conurbations stand out as having to undergo significant spatial transformation and economic transition for the sake of their current and future inhabitants, and the country as a whole. The National Urban Spatial Transformation and Economic Transition Regions is underpinned by the following demographic trends and the degree of population dividend optimization, or squandering, settlement development trends, concerns and possibilities, spatial transformation and development and economic transition and development constraints and obstacles and opportunities and prospects, ecological system and natural resource, use challenges, concerns and opportunities, movement, connectivity and communication infrastructure investment, upgrading and maintenance needs and concerns. In order to optimize all these opportunities and attend to the many spatial, economic, environmental and institutional challenges facing our urban centers, impact analysis has been done with regards to following bulk water, sanitation, stormwater, transport and electricity infrastructure maintenance, upgrading and expansion, in full consideration of the anticipated impacts of climate change on these networks. Urban and rural land reform and the optimization of their catalytic possibilities. Promotion of higher residential densities and the provision of more choice in the housing market. Effective and efficient municipal and social service provision. Effective and universally accessible public transport. Support to small-scale farmers to improve food security and employment. Skills development and innovation in growing economic sectors, with a specific focus on youth development and employment at scale. Support and maintenance of key trade routes and ports. Adherence to the proposals of the NSDF will be ensured by a National Spatial Transformation Accountability System and ensure rapid delivery on the proposals and expedite national spatial development impact. This is the South Africa that the National Spatial Development Framework intends on creating. This is the South Africa we are all jointly creating. We are ready. Our future needs you. Join us.